Nesting automates the process of positioning your pieces. It allows you to copy and quickly position parts on your sheet and material to minimize any leftover wastage. To use nesting, select the nesting icon located on the top toolbar. This will open up quite a large dialog. The tool diameter is obviously the size of the tool that you are going to use to cut the pieces out. Toolpath clearance is the distance between each toolpath. Edge clearance is how much of a gap is left around the edge of the sheet. This is useful if you have a sheet that is not running exactly square, for instance. The parts can be rotated to utilize the material space. Obviously, in this example, they can only rotate 90 degrees as they are rectangular. So I've just left it at the default of 45 degrees. If this part was an irregular shape, I could actually set that to one degree. An art cam would try to match up each part in one degree increments to get the best fit. Be warned though, the lower the value is, the more processing power it takes. So it will take a lot longer to calculate. You can mirror parts or have parts within parts if you wish, and you can also specify where you would like the nesting to start. To start with, I'm going to nest one part of each and select nest. This basically lines up the parts from the bottom left of the model with the gaps that I have specified. If I undo that, and rather than create one copy, I create 10 copies of each part, it will look a lot different and fill up more than one sheet. If I open up the sheets tree in the project, you can see that it has actually filled up four sheets. I can toggle between sheets by selecting each of them from the project tree. Here you can see the same example, but it is colored. That is because I have each of these colors on separate layers. This is useful for machining later as I can machine to a layer. What I would like to do is maintain the layers after I have created the nesting. I can do this by grouping the parts before nesting and then ungrouping after nesting. If I uncheck the group inside and outside of shapes on nesting, it will give me an option to group now. If this is selected, it will group all of the parts and turn them into one color. I can also specify how many copies of each part I would like when nested. If I select the left hand vector, the selected part under the section titled copies becomes active and I can enter a figure in there. The same can be done for the other parts. When they are selected, there will be a number in the center of them denoting how many copies are going to be made. These can then be nested and it will give the amount of copies that I specified nested across multiple sheets. Once nested, if I ungroup all of the vectors, you will see that the vector layers are maintained, allowing you to machine to these layers.